Just blocks from the White House, government workers who have not been paid now in two weeks were to pop up food bank when they learned the shutdown was ending. And David Begno was with them. As the president was talking, people were in line picking up their bags to leave. These ladies had sat down and started eating and were actually watching the president's address on their cell phone. Everyone seemed happy to hear the news, but they were cautiously optimistic. I say it's about time. I hope that it uh, is a little more sustainable than uh, three weeks, so we're not going through this again in three weeks. Jessica Martinez was waiting to get her food. She's been struggling to cover child care costs while working without pay at the Department of Justice. This for you means what? That my family will be able to pay our bills and we'll be able to keep our homes and, you know, be off the street and, and stop begging for food. This had been the fourth government shutdown since 2013, but the longest in U.S. history, and many of the 800,000 furloughed federal workers endured more than a month without pay. I'm excited that the government will be reopening. I think it's about time. David Dusing is furloughed from the Department of Homeland Security. I haven't gone to see any doctor just because I'm sort of in limbo right now with my health insurance. According to a CBS News poll, one in five Americans report being affected by cutbacks triggered by the partial shutdown. Federal workers like this furloughed Coast Guard member in Connecticut have been volunteering to help others who are in the same boat. We all help each other out and it's been absolutely amazing to be able to help each other out, but I get to go back to work on Monday. I can't wait. <laughs> You know, in the spirit of helping one another, as they continue to serve food here tonight, we have heard from dozens of government employees telling us their personal shutdown stories. And we posted those on social media, and the response has been overwhelming. One man offered to pay for the remaining funeral costs for a government employee's relative. Somebody else said, I want to buy the new tire for that government employee's vehicle. The worst of the last three weeks has brought out some of the best in people, Jeff. That is good to hear. David Begno, thank you very much.